Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find at what quadrant the terminal side of the given angle lies, then from this given angle, so first, we need to find the smallest positive coterminal angle for this given angle. So from this 2400 divided by 360, because one rotation is equal to 360 degrees, to find the number of rotation, so we have 2400 divided by 360 equals that 6.6. .6. So we have 6.6. .6. Then we need to drop this decimal, so just take the whole number times 360 so we have 6 times 360 equals that's 2160 so we have 2160 and then from this given angle so 2400 minus this 2160 so 2400 minus 2160 equals that's 240 so we have 240 degrees and this 240 degrees is the smallest positive coterminal angle for this 2400 then to find at what quadrant the terminal side of this angle using this coterminal angle. So we have these different angles in quadrant. So for this 240 degrees, that's between 180 and 270. So therefore, the terminal side of this given angle is in quadrant 3. Then for this given, so divide this 6150 by 360 to find the number of rotations. So we have 6150 divided by 360 equals that 17.08. So we have 17.08. Then you need to drop this decimal. So just take this whole number, then times 360. So we have 17 times 360 equals that 6,120. So 6,120. Then from this given angle, so 6,150 minus... 6,120 so 6,150 minus 6,120 equals that's 30 so we have 30 degrees and this 30 degrees is the coterminal angle for this given angle then to find at what quadrant the terminal side of this angle since 30, that's between 0 and 90, so the terminal side is in quadrant 1. Then if the angle is negative, so to find the number of rotation, so from this 3500 divided by 360 equals, so just ignore the negative, so 3,500 divided by 360 equals, that's 9.7. So we have 9.7. Then we need to drop this decimal. And since we need to find the smallest positive coterminal angle, so we need to add 1 for this whole number. So this one is 10. So if the given angle is negative, so we need to add 1 from the whole number. So that's 10, then times 360. 
So this one is 3,600. Then from this given angle, so negative 3,500, just add this 3,600. So negative 3,500 plus 3,600, that's positive 100 degrees. And this 100 is the positive coterminal angle for this negative 3,500. Then to find at what quadrant the terminal side of this given angle, so 100 degrees, that's between 90 and 180. So the terminal side is in quadrant 2. Then for this angle, so we have 5,200, so just ignore the negative to find the number of rotations, divide by 360, so 5,200 divide by 360 equals, that's 14.4, so we have 14.4, then drop the decimal, then to find the positive coterminal of this angle, so plus 1 for the whole number, that's 15, then times 360, so 15 times 360 equals, that's 5,400, so we have 5,400, then from this given angle, so negative 5, 5,200 then plus this angle so 5,400 so equals positive 200 degrees so this 200 degrees is the smallest positive coterminal angle for this angle and to find at what quadrant the terminal side of this angle since 200 degrees between 180 and 270 degrees, so the terminal side is in quadrant 3. Then for this angle, since the given angle is in region, so we need to convert this one first to degrees. So when converting region to degrees, we just need to multiply the given angle by 180 degrees so this becomes 31 times 180 then divide by 3 so 31 times 180 equals then divide by 3 equals that's 1860 so this angle in degrees that's 1860 degrees then to find now the smallest positive coterminal angle, so from this 1860 divide by 360, so 1860 divide by 360 equals, that's 5.1, so 5.1, then drop the decimal, so just take the whole number, so 5 times 360, this one is 1,800. Then from this angle in degrees, so 1,860 minus 1,800. So this one is 60 degrees. And 60 degrees is the smallest positive coterminal angle for this given angle. Then to find at what quadrant the terminal side of this angle, so 60 degrees, that's between 0 and 90 degrees, so the terminal side is in quadrant 1.